we've created four different worksheets here. I think we're ready to put these all into a dashboard and you know, turn this into one consolidated view. So to create a dashboard, all you need to do is either go to the dashboard menu, select new dashboard, or we could just click the tab below. And this will take us into our, our dashboard view, which is basically our palette um, or our canvas to uh, create our dashboard. We can see all the different worksheets that we've just created in the left-hand menu. And uh, we can set our dashboard size. So let's, let's make this a little bit bigger first. So let's set this up. Let's drive this by our map. So we'll drag our map over here. And we can see that we have just pulled that over and our, our map is in place. Now below this, I want to add our top 10 products by profit and bottom 10 products by profit. We want to, we want to put those together. So Tableau has these containers that you could just drag on here. So this is a horizontal container. And we can just drag that to the bottom here. That'll fill in. And then put our top 10 and bottom 10 side by side. And then as we go down, we could add another container. Another container for our store sales by region. So currently we have filters for year of date and we have filters for region. So we want to tie this all together and make sure that we're all using all of our views are using the same filters. So if you could go into your filter menu and apply this to all the worksheets using this data source. So now we'll go back to our dashboard. Whenever we change our filters, all four of our worksheets are going to change, are going to update with these values. change the years you could see we could see the numbers change And this is taking a little while. A lot of times this will depend. Performance is going to depend on a lot of the factors. We are using a very large data source. It also will you know, depend on your environment that you're in as well. So we'll rename this sheet. Vertica Tableau Retail Demo. And now we're ready to publish this. So as Trevor mentioned, we have a couple different options of publishing this. And if we go to the server, menu. We have public publish workbook. We want to uh, publish this to Tableau server or Tableau public. Um, since we're using a live data source, we're not able to publish this to Tableau public, but we will publish this to a server and take a look at what that looks like. So once we select publish to server, we're asked to log in. Click OK. We're going to send this to our Tableau Samples project. We'll call this Retail Demo. Now really, the only view we want to share here is going to be 
our dashboard. We don't need to see the individual workbooks. So that's why I'm only selecting Berka Tableau Retail Demo. You could also set your any sort of security settings here. We're going to allow pretty much everybody to see this. Um, and then once we've uh, set this up, if you have multiple worksheets, you could uh, show those as tabs, and we'll, we'll see that in another example. Include external files, show selections. Uh, once we have finished with those, we get click Publish. Uh, we will be including our external files. And this is uploading to the server. So this may take another minute or so. So in the meantime, I'm going to log into the server. And we could take a look at some other examples, some of the more exa advanced examples. Um, what I showed you really just scratches the surface. This particular dashboard, this is um, also based on the uh, retail database. Um, so if we take a look at this particular product performance dashboard, we can see this is driven by a number of different bar charts here. We have a user input to show how many values below that we're going to the top and bottom products that we're going to show. So if we were to select one of these particular regions for this year, this would be the South region, top 10, bottom 10 products for 2010. We could change the slider, see the top 20 products, top 30 products. Click on another tab. We could see products by department. So um, this happens to show um, all our different departments um, on a shape size. And this is going to show the top 30 products based on gross profit and bottom 30 products based on gross profit. Uh, we also have a number of other user inputs here. We could select a region from this drop down. change of the year. And we could even change the measure that we're going off of. And then we also have um, comparison of competitor price. And um, this is an example of combining a couple different bar charts here. We have the total sales on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we're able to um, compare what the average competitor price is to our price. Um, so this is uh, another view. You know, we can bring lots of data into a, a robust and um, attractive view to uh, easily see, um, easily make these comparisons. Okay. So it looks like this is finished. So if we go back to our project, oh, I think we have a permissions sure here. be on server. Okay. Oh. Okay, I accidentally put this in the wrong project. And once we log into the database here, we can see our dashboard as it appears on the server. This particular, this particular dashboard page used custom, um, a custom layout. There are a number of different uh, preset layouts for different screen sizes and different screen types, depending on how you want to view your data.
Now we can see how this runs on the server. Uh, once on the server, you have a number of different options here. You can share this, um, send out links, set a refresh, and also export this to PDF or uh, to an image file. So that concludes the demo portion of our presentation.